Hello, my name is Brandon Blake, and I'm an application engineer here at Design Point Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily establish a meet on a routing component while currently being in the process of creating that route. So I already have a 3D model that's pulled up here, and in this model I have two main faces that I want to establish a slip-on flange to. I want to make sure that those bolt hole centers are going to be lined up with the same flange that I dropped in from my design library. So in order to do this, first I'm going to go up to my piping menu and start by dragging and dropping a slip-on flange from my design library. I'm going to pick the first selection based upon my 150 pound flange. Next, my routing property is going to show up based upon the size of the slip-on flange. I'm going to close this menu down for right now. If I scroll in here and we look a little closer to the flange, how it's orientated, the top dead center hole is not lined up with the mating place bolt holes. We want to line those up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my design tree and I'm going to establish a mate between my slip-on flange and my top level assembly. Once my mate's automatically popped into place, you can see that now my flange is rotated around and now is in the proper orientation so my bolt holes are going to line up properly. I'm going to close down the main menu for right now. And now I'm going to drag and drop another slip on flange from my design library onto the next main face. I'm going to pick the first selection from my 150 pound flange configuration. And when my routing property shows up, I'm going to close this menu down again. As you can see, my bottom flange is orientated in the correct position, and my top flange is top dead center. I want to change this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the design tree and locate where that flange is at, and I'm going to establish another mate from one of the planes, from one of the planes in my top level assembly. As you can see, the flange automatically rotates around based upon the mate that's established. I'm going to accept this option. Now you can see those flanges are orientated in the correct position to match with the mating face that they're connected to. Next, I'm going to start my route. In order to do so, I'm going to hover over one of the flanges right click and I'm going to start my route. Now my routing properties will show up based upon the size of the flange. This time I'm going to accept. If you scroll out, now you can see that my route has already, uh, has already been created. I want to go down to the next main flange and I'm going to hover over, right click, and I'm going to add to route. This is going to start my my next route at my next slip on flange. Next I'm going to let SolidWorks do the rest of the work for me. So I'm going to go back up to my piping menu and I'm going to click on auto route. In order to make the connections between these two points and finish my route, I need to select my endpoints, start to finish. As you can see now, SOLIDWORKS automatically creates my route, and now I'm going to accept this option and exit out my subassembly. Oh, there you go. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.